Another elected official targeted in Minnesota, this time the property of a state lawmaker from Rochester hit by vandalism. Rochester police are now investigating after two masked men were on, caught on video surveillance at the home of State Representative Kim Hicks. Jay Cole spoke with Hicks today and he's live in the newsroom with the latest. Jay? Brett, Representative Hicks tells me the vandal struck in the early morning hours Saturday when she woke up to a situation she calls unnerving. Despite this incident, Hicks says she will keep campaigning for re-election. When the sun came up Saturday morning in Rochester... There are swastikas on my shed. You can't... There's KKK on my shed. It was pretty clear to State Representative Kim Hicks that her home and her family were the targets of political violence. I was not expecting it to be hate speech, racial violence, and to be our shed and our house, like our physical home. So that was... Awful. It was just, it was awful. A swastika spray painted on a window. Pick says her security video shows two suspects in masks peering into the window with one of her children on the other side. Fear of the fact that they were so close to my children. I mean, they, they spray painted my the window where my daughter sleeps. It's a pattern repeating itself in Minnesota. Protesters climbing the fire escape of Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry's condo with his wife and baby just inside the door. Former Minneapolis City Council member Lisa Bender's home vandalized with threatening messages. And Minneapolis City Council member Michael Rainville now petitioning the state Supreme Court to uphold a restraining order against a citizen who threatened him and his family during a city council meeting. This is about the future of democracy in the city of Minneapolis and in the state of Minnesota. Representative Hicks agrees, saying it's why she will not quit, so others will eventually step up. Here's this other thing that happens in this job. People threaten your life regularly and deface your property. <laughs> like, such a selling point for democracy. Now, Hicks says Rochester police told her they're investigating this as a felony crime of terroristic threats. So far, the two suspects on the home security video have not been caught. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News. Okay.